coffee here. It's cold. Well, what's up, fellas? Uh, gonna call this one a Mercury 7.5 horsepower. First look. Okay, so we got this 7.5 horsepower Mercury. Got the cowling laying over there. This is an early 80s model uh, Mercury 7.5 horsepower. And if you look at the number and you can look it up, it's not going to give you a year. But it's about the year they made them. It's a brown stripe. But a lot of times we can tell what year it is by the side of the starter. So that says 82. 10 5 of 82. So that's original starter. If it wasn't the original starter, then we wouldn't really know. But a lot of times they have the original starters on them. He wanted me to try to just figure out what was wrong with it. And he couldn't get the starter he said to work, you know. And also his pull rope is gone. He, he gave me a pull rope that he bought online, a little aftermarket one. All right, so over here you got two buttons. The one to the, you know, down by the handle of the front of the motor. So the one at the front of the motor is your stop button. And then the one that's just under the shift cable or the shift uh, lever, the one that's under the shift lever, that one is your start button. So on these motors, they, they didn't have uh, a solenoid. Um, they did have a voltage regulator uh, went on the side of the engine over here and that tied to uh, your uh, rectifier so this should be the output of the rectifier and I believe that's going over to the start switch but I've got to verify that and maybe get where the start switch will work um, no automatic choke it's just a choke lever in the front it's down in here you can see it you can see it in the front of the motor it's just this lever right here goes in out I think I had it closed just so we didn't have any debris get in it um, that's a good little idea to do uh, so I don't know. I don't know. Looking up here, you know, this is just the cover, and it has the uh, spring retention for the pull rope. Um, so we we'll need to get this off, and that's got basically a few screws. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, like there's that one. And there's one that's way down in here somewhere if you can see it no sort of like that there it is so there's a so there's that screw and then over on this side we've got another screw that's down there but our coils are mounted to the top of that so we can try to just lay it over gently but, you know we got these wires that obviously hook to the coil and then you know you got your spark plugs going to the coil probably the best way to do that is just to take the three bolts out they don't have to take any of the wiring apart you know there's they just insert in there those bolts so if i just loosen these three screws then you know that just pops off of there and I can lay it off to the side I'm gonna take the starter off and just check that wiring where it goes I think that's the thing to do because uh, then I can use the starter screw pulling it pull starter if I can get the starter to work that would be really really cool you know and there's a notch in the this bracket and that's where that starter is supposed to be but this bracket just comes off and so that'll be pretty easy and then I can trace down that wire okay so my plan is gonna be to get the top little P 
piece that has the recoil in it off and then I want to take the starter off and trace my wiring and get it hooked up where I can see if I can get the starter to spin because if I do that it'd be easier to do a compression test um, here's the uh, I don't know, he just brought me this. But he got a little kit. Yeah. He bought this rope because he looked that went. That's not gonna work. So here's another pull rope. Before I ran out of propane. And this is Tennessee right here. Yeah, we're just a sheet of ice. It's supposed to get some more snow. We got a 35 horsepower Johnson we need to check out. We got a 35 horsepower Mercury we need to sell. We got another 35 horsepower Mercury that I need to go through and fix the water jacket. Got a 20 horsepower Mercury uh, 200 that I need to flush and get it running. And then we got this seven and a half horsepower. So we got some work going on and it's February something whatever's gonna need a bigger shot.